You were you were not a public figure, and I would submit to the audience, not so interested in becoming one. You were more of a private guy. And this is one of the things you had to wrestle with when you decided to propose to me, right? I mean, you you understood. I was on Fox at the time, though I was a cub reporter. Um, by the time we got married, I had America's Newsroom with Hemmer, so I, my star was kind of rising a little. Um, so you had to make a decision on whether you wanted to put a toe into public life mm-hmm. that way. And it really did require a, a thoughtful reflection by you. It did. And, and of course, all worthwhile. We do it all again, obviously. But um, <laughs> good, good. It, does, it does require some thought, but no one can know exactly what they're getting into with that, even you, I'm sure. And there, there is a lot of good with the bad. The good far outweighs the bad. I mean, when we go places, almost 99% of the interactions are positive. People coming up and saying, you inspire me, you inspire my daughter. I want my daughter to be like you. It's, it's almost always that. Very few negative ones. Um, you know, there have been moments where we're like really peaking on intensity and and focus on you that are that, that's unpleasant. But for the most part, it brings far more good into our lives than bad. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you you came in with very open eyes to this relationship because when we first started dating is when I had that terrible stalking problem in my life, and literally on our first date. Well, tell them, tell, tell them what happened, like what you had to <laughs> Can't remember to. if it was Cougar or Viper, but your friends had named all the security guards and gave them co-names. <laughs> one, one poor guy was Pooh Bear, but everyone else had a pretty tough name. <laughs> and uh, so we were chaperoned, like a couple of high school sophomores going to the prom. And and the one guy was really, you know, these were these are guys who clearly had experience with weapons and and uh, <laughs> taking people down. And uh, I did not want to be taken down by anyone. And he's like, I'm going to have to see some ID, of course. And I'm like, reaching into my back pocket, like, whatever you need, sir. And uh, he's like, no, no, I'm just just messing with you. So, but anyway, our first kiss was also in front of security, which which is hard to do. Um, yeah, it was. It was hard for both of us. I mean, but especially me. <laughs> yeah, you'd really gotten to, to know these guys. I think they're, after they dropped me off for many dates, I was dropped off somewhere else at my hotel. And uh, they'd give you the little quiz about, all right, what, what's, it, what's up with this guy? You know, do we need to, yeah. are we going to see him again? They approved of you. Otherwise, it wouldn't have worked out. You know, I mean, they, I trusted their opinions. But after that first kiss, it was, I did not do well, audience. I, I did not. I was embarrassed. Cougar and Viper were watching us. And uh, it was just awkward AF, as the kids say. And so the next day, when we went back to pick up Doug at his hotel, I said to Cougar and Viper, you stay where you are. I, I got something I need to do. So I went to the hotel. I pressed the buzzer on Doug's door. And uh, he's looking for the security. I'm like, they're not here. I'm like, I... I I can do better. That was not my best effort last night. <laughs> and of course, Doug was like, right this way. Yeah, this is <laughs> Let, classic see. you. It's like, I, take charge kind of girl. Come on in. I like this. <laughs> it was only a kiss, as the song says. Uh, but things went from there. So it was a crazy beginning. And we did get married. And it was a whirlwind romance. It was absolutely it was, I was mesmerized by you and remain mem- mesmerized by you. Like I, there's a journal entry that I kept at the time that has a picture of you. You're just in jeans and a t-shirt, but your, your, your hair is kind of messed up and you'd been so kind and such a person of character. And I, and I wrote something to the effect of, is it possible? Is it possible that this guy loves me and isn't a serial killer or gay, or a felon of some type. Like, is there something, uh, there's got to be a shoe to drop here because he's too good. And now I'm happy to say 15 years of marriage later, you're not, you're, it's not fake. You're real. You're just as awesome as I always knew you were, babe. Oh, I, I, I am the lucky one. And uh, it's funny, I just had Anna Quinlan on my show. And at that time, in our dating phase, prior to marriage, you would give me a book by Anna called A Short Guide to a Happy Life. And you wrote a very sweet inscription, in which I won't repeat here, but it was a very nice inscription, and I brought it to my interview with Anna to get it signed. Of course, I forgot because I was all like thrown by my interview with her, which was so fun and good. <laughs> um, but I saved that book going back, and I, I remember those days when we were first dating. And of course, now we have three beautiful kids, and everything's been so awesome. I feel like we're just actually hitting hitting our stride in some ways. Like we're really like hitting a great peak where our kids are fun and they want to be with us. And we're doing so much fun stuff, just the two of us, and. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so why, how, why do you think it's worked, right? Because um, 
obviously I, I had a first marriage and I'm still friends with Dan, but that one didn't work out and you had other relationships. And so many marriages struggle. And I'm sure there are a lot of people listening to us right now who are like, A, gag, but B, how are they doing that? <laughs> like, what what is the, you know, like, well, I wouldn't mind hearing a couple of things about what makes a relationship work so well like this well, consistently, I, you, you know? Consistently. You're, you're, you're our secret sauce. I really believe that. You're the most self-aware person I know. Everyone I know, even my best friends have blind spots to their behavior and something that in your friends, you're like, listen, nobody's perfect. I'm going to forgive this person these kinds of foibles or whatever they are. And I know that you just, you see yourself so clearly and then you do things about it when you find something you think needs work, whether it's a relationship with me or your mom or a sibling or a friend. And you are, you're very proactive about putting in the work. And, you know, I, I mean, obviously everybody should know it's not all rainso- rainbows and unicorns with us. Like we work on things. We have very frank and honest conversations with each other when we find something annoying. Uh, there has not been anything annoying, uh, at least on my half. You'll, we'll talk after, but I'm, I'm all good <laughs> right now. <laughs> but when there's not, and there have been over, over the years, of course there are those moments in every marriage. And we, we, uh, we don't let that fester. We, we just put it on the table and talk it through. And I think yeah. we're both honest we with ourselves it. and with each other about it. Like many people, I am trying to eat healthier these days. And that is one of the reasons why I love good olive oil. And by good, I mean fresh. Olive oil packs the most flavor and healthiest nutrients when it's fresh from the farm. And that's the problem with supermarket olive oils. They're not fresh. They can sit on the shelf for many months growing stale. That's why I like my olive oil direct from small award-winning farms, thanks to a guy named TJ Robinson, also known as the olive oil hunter. When I first tasted TJ's Farm Fresh oils, I fell in love with their vibrant flavors. They are delicious on salad, veggies, pasta, meat, fish, you name it. And as an introduction to his fresh-pressed olive oil club, TJ's willing to send you a full-size $39 bottle of one of the world's finest artisanal olive oils for just $1 to help him cover shipping. Best of all, there is never a commitment to buy anything, and you can cancel your membership at any time. Get your free $39 bottle for just $1 shipping and taste the difference freshness makes. Go to harvestfreshnow.com. That's harvestfreshnow.com for a free bottle and pay just $1 shipping. Harvestfreshnow.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.